Hey guys, my name is Nathan and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having an awesome day And if you are make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new because I make some pretty awesome videos for you guys But in today's video, I'm going to be telling you the whole story about how I failed high school or ninth grade in particular Because that was my worst year of high school and I wish I could go back and change it I really do but you know you can't I'm just gonna be telling you guys how I failed what I did to fail how I came and recovered from that failure so i hope you guys do enjoy like i said drop a like let's go for 20 likes on the video i think we can do it guys but let's get right into it all right guys so i hope the lighting is good i tried my best to you know rearrange the lighting so it would be like really awesome so the video quality is number one but like i said let's get right into it so i was going from eighth grade into ninth grade so my freshman year of high school i went to this school called north carol high school it was a pretty nice school it was an old school because my aunt and my dad went to that school so it is kind of an old school but i did go to that school for my freshman year and the first day of school started off really bad so my bus was late to my house Okay, and then I got to school very late, you know, I missed, you know, a portion of my first class and it just sucked so much. Like, I was the only freshman in that class, I think it was like agriculture, or what, I don't even remember what class, I'm pretty sure it was agriculture though. So I was like the only freshman in the class and being the only freshman and being late to the class kind of sucked. It kind of sucked because, you know, you're, you're the youngest in the class and you're, they're just like, you're late. And anyway, so yeah, I was the youngest person in the class and, you know, that's how my first day of school, you know, started. It was pretty awful, but then later I got into other of my classes. I saw some of my friends were in my classes, which isn't, you know, the greatest thing. That's probably a reason of why I failed my freshman year, but, you know, yeah, a lot of my friends were in my classes, and, you know, it was awesome. It was awesome. So, I'm going to have to say that my favorite class that whole entire year was probably gym class, to be honest with you. I mean, who doesn't like gym? I mean, I know a lot of people out there aren't really, like, athletic, and they don't really like running or any of that stuff. I don't like running either, but I just think gym is so much more fun. You know, it makes time go by really fast. Gym was my favorite class, but anyway, later, you know, into the school year, you know, I got comfortable with my classes and my teachers, so that's when I started to mess around with my friends, and you know, as you guys probably know this from, you know, a self-experience, if you're in a class with your friends, you know, you're just gonna goof off, you're gonna be talking to them a lot, and all that good stuff. Well, you know, I was one of those people. I was in my class sitting next to my friends, talking to them all day, and my teachers were yelling at me, and all that good stuff, and first term poor cards came around, and you know, I wasn't doing doing so hot. I wasn't doing so hot. I got an F in my one class for that quarter. It was government, which was really, really boring. I hated government class. It really sucked. But uh, yeah, I got an F in government, and another class I got an F in was English 9. Now, English was another one of my bad classes. As the later years, you know, came, I went to higher English classes, I just realized that it, English is a very easy class if you actually just do your work. Like, I just didn't do my work, so that's why I kind of failed English. But yeah, English and government, I had two Fs for that quarter, which which was kind of bad, you know, I took it home and my grandmother was like, Nathan, come on, you can do better than this, you got an F, what is wrong with you, you're stupid, you're an idiot, you should just go jump off a bridge. And I was like, well, I tried my hardest, I didn't try my hardest, but I told her, I tried my hardest, and she's like, okay, fine, whatever, just try to bring it up. So, you know, I didn't really listen to her, so... Later in the school year, you know, in those two classes, I was like, Nathan, okay, you just gotta get a D, okay, a D is passing, and you know that's all I really needed a D or above so in government class I had this teacher and he was he was an okay teacher I just had him last year for one of my classes but he's an okay teacher and I still didn't really do my work in his class because I just hated school so much it was just so awful I still hate school to this day but I'm a senior now and this is my last year so I hope this year is a lot better than my freshman year and I hope you guys have a great or a better freshman year than I had or if you already you know passed freshman year I hope it was a better year than what I had but but yeah, I didn't do my work in his class, and I ended up getting an F again, and two Fs mean that you fail the class and you have to retake it again, and I also got another F in English 9 again, so I had two Fs in English, two Fs in government, and it was just awful. It was just awful, so that means I had to take those two classes over again next year, which kind of sucks because I'm like, okay, if the class is boring this time, it's going to even be boring next time because I'm gonna be doing the same stuff over and over again but you know my dumb self just didn't really care at the time 
but yeah so I failed those two classes and then later in the year we switched classes and now you know I had a whole different you know four classes and the class that I started to fail this time <laughs> was physics okay now I had the worst physics teacher in the whole building everyone hated him like there was like seven people in my class that failed his class and I was like oh my god dude why did I have this guy and he was so annoying he just didn't really teach you he's the type of teacher to give you a textbook and tell you to go find the answers yourself which kind of sucked <sighs> yeah which kind of sucked but you know me and my friend Andrew were really close now you guys saw him in a video you know a couple weeks ago where we went to Walmart he got a haircut whatever but we were in the same class and we sat next to each other and you know as two friends sit next to each other you start to talk and goof off and you know Digby was his name Mr. Digby God man if you see this video I really hated you as a teacher I really did you were really mean to me and Andrew and you didn't really teach us which you know kind of sucks because then I wouldn't have to take physics again but anyway yeah I, we had Mr. Digby and he didn't really teach us we just started to goof off a lot and he's like you know what guys if you want to goof off in my class if you want to play on your phones and stuff like that then go for it you know I'm not gonna stop you if you fail you fail that's on you and you know we we accepted that because a lot of teachers they would just like bitch at you like oh take or put your phone away but I'm like it's my grade if I think that I can pass the class when I'm on the phone then you know I'm gonna pass the class you know but yeah he was was a cool teacher about that like he's like if you want to be on your phones you can but your grade is your grade and you know that kind of didn't help out a lot because that means we were just on our phone constantly and constantly and constantly messing around which didn't really help but yeah, so later we got our report cards and Andrew and I both got an F in his class, you know, obviously because we were goofing off, we were always on our phones and stuff like that, and we got an F on our report card. I'm not quite sure how low his F was, but I think mine was really low. I think mine was like a 48%, which is really bad. You have to get a 60% to pass, and I was at a 48, so I was 12% away. So yeah, I was 12% away, so then the next quarter I would have had to have gotten a 72%. I would have had to have gotten a 72% to pass the class in in my head, I was like, I know that's not gonna happen. I've never been a good student in school. And, you know, I didn't get that 72% and I got another F, so that means I failed that class as well. So I was going into my sophomore year failing three classes and I had to take those three classes over again. And you only have four classes in one semester, which really, really really sucked. So I had to take those three classes again, which really sucked, and I couldn't do any of the classes that I wanted to take. I just had to retake those classes. So guys, if you are in my position and you're sitting next to your friends and you're goofing off, try to move your seat. Don't be like me. Don't fail three classes your freshman year. And I might make a video to give you guys freshman tips, you know, going into high school because I know a lot of you guys are coming from eighth grade. Whatever grade, you know, enters into high school for you guys. I know a lot of you are nervous, scared, oh, am I going to get bullied and that stuff. High school isn't really that bad. It just depends on what high school you go to and like what friends you have and all that good stuff but I, I was going into my sophomore year with three failed classes which is not good so this is how it works so you need to get a total of six credit to pass your freshman year get one credit freeze class okay I only had five credits so that means I didn't have the six so that means I was still considered a freshman for the next year so I had to you know change my advisory I was in you know an advisory with a bunch of you know people that were younger than me I had to get my lockers changed so you know my lockers weren't next to my friends anymore it, it just sucked it was just a mess and you know I'm really glad that the following year that I changed up I got all my grades you know I still did bad I still got really low grades but I still passed my classes which is awesome as long as I get these you know I'm good but you know I'm not going to college so I don't really have to worry about my grades or anything like that yes I would go into those classes again seriously if I could but you know I can't now so but we're all situated now I'm supposed to graduate on time and all that good stuff let me know in the comments if this happened to any of you guys where you failed a certain amount of classes and they wouldn't let you move on to the next grade or any of that. I know a lot of you guys out there, you know, might do bad in school, but you know, you don't come off as a bad school student. You guys might walk around, yeah, I'm the smartest kid in the world, you know, I'm so happy, but in reality, you're getting F's and stuff like that. I was one of those kids, I missed like 50 days that freshman year, which kind of sucked, but I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Like I said, let me know if this happened to you, or if you guys failed any of your classes. What was your favorite class? What was your least favorite class? And just don't try to be like me, guys. I don't want you guys to, you know, have to do what I did, retake those three classes again, because retaking three classes that you already know everything about is really boring so i really don't wish that upon any of you guys but yeah hope you guys did enjoy make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new let me know anything else you guys want me to talk about like you know like i said i might make a freshman tips video or any of that good stuff my name is nathan hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll catch you all in the next video